Hi again, my name is Chelsea. I am both a librarian and a yoga instructor here at Brock, and today we're going to get to move through a bit of an unconventional study break. The focus today will be noticing some of the more subtle sensations that we have in our bodies. So if you're coming from maybe some really long virtual meetings or some long classes or study sessions, this is your chance to kind of tune in and notice some of the finer details. Maybe your eyes are feeling a little strained. Maybe there's a bit of tension in your neck and shoulders. This will be an opportunity to really become aware of some of those things and what our bodies are needing and relieve some of that with some mindful stretching. So we're gonna go ahead and get started in a comfortable seat or maybe standing. This can be seated in a chair on the floor or standing. <laughs> And we'll start by taking the shoulders back and lifting up through the crown of the head to lengthen the spine. We'll level out the gaze so we're not looking up or down, just nice and level. And then maybe gently closing the eyes if it feels comfortable or just lowering the gaze, softening the gaze down towards the floor. Take a moment to check in Noticing how your body feels as it settles into whatever posture you've chosen. Noticing if there are any areas of tension or gripping. Maybe you can soften your shoulders down a little bit more. Maybe you can lift the corners of your mouth just a little bit. Tricked everyone into smiling, nice. And if there are any small movements you can make to get a little more comfortable, go ahead, make those movements. And then gradually bring your attention to your breath. Notice how your breath is moving. The subtle sensation, maybe the breath expanding the belly, maybe rising in the chest. Maybe you just feel the inhales and exhales through the nose. Just observe how it feels. And as you notice the breath, your thoughts may wander. Just observe where they wander off to. Maybe your to-do list is creeping up on you Maybe you're reflecting on the class or the meeting you just had. And acknowledging where your thoughts are going, gently bring the attention back to the breath. We're going to take three nice deep breaths in together. And as we do so, we're going to do what I call the squeeze. On an inhale, we can all do this together now. We're gonna squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears, squeeze the hands into fists, tense up the muscles and the arms, maybe in the legs. You can scrunch up your face if you like. And then with a big exhale through the mouth, we soften it all down. We'll do two more like that. Inhale nice and deep, squeeze the shoulders up, squeeze the hands, tense up the muscles, scrunch up the face. And exhale, we drop it all, let it all go. One more time, inhale, squeeze everything up, and exhale, release all that tension. And slowly, if your eyes were closed, we'll gently blink the eyes open, and we'll go ahead and get moving today. Now, as I said at the start, we're going to try to focus on some of the subtle sensations in the body today. So we're going to start out really small and we're going to work our way from head to toe in all of our stretches today. The very first thing we're going to do is actually just moving the eyes. So when we're working on our computers a lot, we're frequently just staring in one direction in front of us. So we're going to start by just circling the eyes around and this might seem a little silly, but notice how it feels and if you really notice a difference. Um, after doing this little practice with me. So again, we're still lifting up through the spine, reaching up through the crown of the head, either seated or standing. 
And we'll start by taking the gaze up towards the ceiling, not moving the head, just taking the gaze straight up. Take a nice deep breath in. And you can exhale with a sigh as you return your gaze level in front of you. Now as we inhale, we're gonna drop the gaze, looking down towards the ground, maybe cross-eyed and towards your nose. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, return the gaze to center. Inhale, we take the gaze to the right now. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale to center. And then to the left, taking a nice deep breath in. And exhaling to center. And maybe take a moment now. I know we had our eyes closed not too long ago, but just briefly to close your eyes and see if there's any way you can soften the muscles around the eyes. Often those muscles can really be working overtime when we're on our computers all day. So really see if you can soften the muscles in your face. And now I encourage you to choose what feels best for you today, either maybe keeping the eyes closed, or you can move your eyes with the rest of this motion. We're gonna draw some big circles with the nose. So we'll start by taking the nose up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, we take it around one side, down towards the bottom, over to the other side, and back up, continuing this nice, nice smooth motion. And maybe, as I suggested, closing the eyes through this process to give them a bit of a break, or perhaps tracing a circle with the eyes as well, looking in the direction that you're turning the head. Take one more circle in this direction, and then the next time we come to the top, we'll gently switch, noticing how the neck feels as we gently wake it up, appreciating any subtle sensations here, not trying to really crank the neck around, not really trying to force things too much, just being nice and gentle in our movement. We'll take one more round. And the next time we come to the top, we'll pause and gently drop the chin to come level with the floor one more time. Awesome. From here, we're gonna take a nice big breath in, reach the arms all the way up towards the sky, lift up out of the waist, and exhale, reach the arms nice and wide. From here, we're gonna go ahead and drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. So you'll start to feel a really big stretch in the right side of the neck across the top of the arm. Continue to breathe here, notice the sensation. And if you'd like a little bit more, consider tilting your right hand back towards your face. This can be a really, really big stretch across the forearm. You might even feel it through your fingers a little bit. And of course, you'll feel it through your neck. Take one more inhale. Exhale, we bring the head back up. Return that right hand so that it's flat. And then we drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. So now we're getting that stretch across the top of the left shoulder, the arm, the neck. Maybe we flip that palm up, making a stop sign with that hand. It's a very intense stretch, I feel it too. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale, return the head to center. We'll go ahead and drop the arms, maybe roll the shoulders a little bit back, maybe a little bit forward. And then we'll take the hands together. You can interlace your fingers and just start to roll your wrists one way and see if you can maybe switch directions. It always takes a lot of thought for me to kind of figure out which way is which, so perhaps a little mental exercise for you as well. And then we'll release the hands and we'll reach them out straight in front of us, making stop signs with our hands. Take a nice deep breath in as you flex your hands towards your face and exhale, we flip the palms down, making kind of like zombie arms. Inhale, we take it up and exhale, we take it down. One more time, inhale, take it up. 
and exhale, take it down. Awesome, we'll shake it out. I have one more wrist stretch here, and I find this is great when you're on your computer a lot. Reach your arms out in front of you, your palms are facing each other, and then start to point your fingers in towards each other. From here, you can start to curl your fingers in, making fists with your hands, and now we have kind of gorilla arms going on. You'll start to feel a big stretch across the back of your forearm, the top of your wrist. Deep breath in, and exhale. Release, stretch your fingers out nice and wide. One more time, we curl it in. And release, you can shake it out. Maybe appreciate any subtle differences you feel just in your forearms, your wrists here. It's great to take little breaks like that when we're working a lot. All right, from here, we'll take a nice big breath and circle the arms up one more time. Reach up, lift up out of the waist. And then bending your elbows, we're gonna cactus the arms down, opening up through the chest, drawing the shoulder blades in towards each other. Take a nice deep breath in here. And then exhale, we're gonna bring the arms forwards and we're gonna bring the left forearm on top of the right. So, or the, the left elbow rather, on top of the right. You can bring your hands either to the tops of your shoulders, so you're kind of giving yourself a nice hug here, or maybe, you can bring the backs of your forearms together, or if you're familiar with full eagle arms, that's what this is called, you can wrap your palms around to touch. But this really depends on the range of motion in your shoulders and your wrists and just generally how you're feeling today. So if you would like to be giving yourself a hug, feel free to do so. You can also bring the forearms to touch or wrap the palms, but we're really just looking for the same sensation. So we don't need to worry about the shape, we want the feeling. That's what's really important here. We want to think about drawing the elbows up, taking the shoulders down, and taking the hands, if they're up and not on the shoulders, away from the face. So this is a great stretch in the shoulders and the upper back. And wherever you are with your arms, with an inhale, we're gonna lift the chest a little bit here. And exhale, round it forwards, tucking the chin towards the chest. One more time, inhale, we lift everything up. And exhale, we round it down. Slowly, we come back up, we unravel the arms. You can go ahead and shake things out, get a little loose, a little weird with it, <laughs> totally fine. And then with a nice big breath in, we'll reach the arms up one more time. And exhale, cactus them down, taking the elbows out to the sides, taking the shoulder blades towards each other, opening the chest. And then we'll bring the elbows in, this time bringing the right on top of the left, either giving ourselves a hug, resting our hands on, tops of our, on the tops of our shoulders, or bringing the backs of the forearms together, maybe wrapping the palms around to touch. Again, focus on the sensation, what feels good in your body today. We'll start to draw the elbows up and away, taking the shoulders down, maybe taking the hands away from the face if they're lifted. Take a nice deep breath in, we lift the chest, and exhale, we round it forward, tucking the chin. One more time, inhale, we lift it up, and exhale, we round it down. Slowly making our way back up, unravel the arms, shake things out a little bit, maybe roll the shoulders a little bit, whatever you need to do. Awesome. Now we're going to get into the lower body a little bit. So again, this can be done seated or standing. Maybe if you're standing, if you have a piece of furniture nearby for some balance, that might be helpful. We're gonna start by picking that right knee up off the floor. So we'll start just by rolling the ankle a little bit one way and a little bit the other. Noticing how the ankle is feeling. I don't know about you, but sitting still at a desk for quite some time, it feels really good to move my ankle around. And then we'll just point and flex the foot if you're standing or if this is a lot, you can always support your leg with your hands if this is getting really challenging. Or if you'd like a little extra challenge, you can always try to extend your leg and maybe go hands-free trying to hold it up here. Totally up to you. 
and then we'll slowly bring that foot back down. Now, I have a challenge here if you're standing. We can do this next pose again, seated or standing. We're gonna make our way into a figure four stretch. So I'll show you seated and then I'll show you standing. Seated, we cross that right ankle across the top of the left thigh, sit up nice and tall, and then maybe hinge forwards just a little bit to get that nice stretch in the glute and the hip. If we're standing, we can do this as well. And this is where I would suggest having something to assist your balance. We want to start by crossing the right ankle across the left thigh, and then almost as if we're sitting back in a chair, we start to shift bending that left knee, and we feel exactly that same stretch. So again, totally optional, however you would like to approach this pose. If you're seated on the floor, you can even do this by bringing your hands to the floor, extending your left leg out nice and long, cross your right ankle over and start to slide your left foot back in. Wherever you are, we'll take one more deep breath. And on the exhale, we'll release, maybe shake it out a little bit, and we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. So when you're ready, we'll start by picking up that left knee, and we'll just start by circling the ankle around one way and then the other. Getting some movement down into the legs, some energy flowing down into the legs. Noticing even the smallest of sensations. You can always support your leg with your hands. We'll go ahead and start to point and flex that foot. And again, for added challenge, if you want to try extending your leg, maybe doing it hands free. This will really engage the muscles in the legs. We'll do one more and gently lower it down, shake it out a little bit, and we'll make our way into our figure four stretch, either seated or standing. We're going to cross that left ankle across the right thigh, sit up nice and tall if we're sitting, and hinge forwards. Again, if we're standing, same approach, we're crossing the ankle over the thigh, and then we're sitting back as if we're about to sit back in a chair, trying to maintain that nice steady balance. Continue to breathe. Notice how the breath is doing. Maybe we're losing track of the breath a little bit. If this is getting a little too much, we can always ease off. We'll take one more breath wherever we are. And exhale, we'll unwind. You can shake it out a little bit. And now I will invite everyone to do the next few postures from a standing position. I will show you a seated variation um, if that is more to your practice today. But if you're with me, if you are coming from seated, we're gonna start by, as I like to start, coming out through chair pose. So you can lift yourself up out of your seat knees right on top of your ankles. If you're coming from standing, again, we're just going to sit back like we're sitting back in a chair, reaching your arms out in front of you. And if you feel any tension in your lower back, try tucking your tailbone slightly under. We'll take one nice deep breath in here, sigh it out, and then inhale, we come all the way up to standing. Great. From standing here, We'll start by finding our mountain pose. Our feet are right underneath our hips. We take the shoulders back, reach the fingertips down towards the floor, and lift up through the crown of the head. Feel nice and stable, very bright and lifted through the upper body. We'll take a nice deep breath in, and exhale with a sigh here. On our next inhale, we're gonna reach the arms all the way up towards the sky. And exhale, come towards chair pose, bending the knees like we're sitting back in a chair, reaching the arms forwards. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale, we fold forwards, keeping the knees as bent as you'd like here. And if you would like to be doing this from seated as well, you are more than welcome to extend your legs slightly in front of you and fold forwards over your legs. 
On an inhale, we're all going to lift up halfway, bringing the hands to the shins or to the thighs. And exhale, we fold one more time. On your next inhale, with the fingertips on the floor, we're going to step that right knee back. So we come down onto the right knee into a nice lunge. Now, this is where if you had any cushioning for your knee, you're welcome to grab maybe a blanket or something. Um, if you have a yoga mat, a towel, uh, this can be really more comfortable for your knee. If you'd like to practice this from seated, if you shift over to the right side of your chair, you can then drop your uh, right knee underneath your hip and you won't end up actually putting your knee on the floor here, but we can still get into the same position. So wherever you're practicing today, I want you to think about taking your left hip back, your right hip forward, and tucking your tailbone under, and you'll start to feel a stretch in your right hip flexor. This can get very tight when we're sitting, and for those of you who maybe have practiced a fair bit of yoga, you might be thinking this isn't a very big lunge. We're not really stretching a ton here, but notice the subtle sensation. You can get quite a lot out of this posture. And this is a posture that's a little more amenable to non-traditional yoga clothing. So you can see I'm practicing in a pair of jeans today as I work from home. Wherever you are with an inhale, we'll reach the arms up and exhale, draw the elbows out to the sides, cactusing. Inhale, we reach up, and exhale, we bring the fingertips back down towards the floor so we can step that right foot back to meet the left. Inhale, we lift up halfway. Exhale, we fold. This time, we're going to step that left foot back so we can come down onto that left knee. Again, if we're in a chair, if we shift over to the left side of the chair, we'll be able to do this without putting pressure on the knee. We'll set ourselves up here, 90 degree bend in the front knee, 90 degree bend in the back knee. Taking the right hip back, the left hip forwards, tucking the tailbone, getting that nice stretch this time in the left hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath in and reach the arms up. Exhale, we cactus the elbows down. Inhale, we reach up. And exhale, we bring those fingertips back towards the floor, stepping the left foot to meet the right and gently folding forwards. We can ragdoll here if we're coming from standing, holding on to opposite elbows, maybe swaying a little from one side to the other. Maybe at center, shaking the head a little yes, and a little no. And then slowly, we'll release the arms, rolling our way up, either to standing or seated wherever we started today. Wonderful. I have one more posture here. You're welcome to do this either seated or standing. This is going to be our full expression of eagle pose. So we've been warming up through the legs, warming up through the upper body, stretching everything out. This is one beautiful pose that I think can be really, really helpful um, in a number of different ways. So we'll start from our mountain pose if we're standing. If we're seated, we're just seated up nice and tall. And we'll inhale, reach the arms nice and wide. On our exhale, we'll circle the right arm underneath the left, bringing the elbows on top of each other, either bringing the hands to the shoulders or bringing the forearms to touch, maybe the hands to wrap. This is step one. Step two, we start to sit back like we're sitting back in a chair. You're welcome to stay here or maybe perhaps move to a chair if you'd like to do this seated. And then we'll start to shift the weight into our left foot. This next part is optional. If you want to up the ante, you lift your right foot up off the floor. So we're picking up that knee and crossing it over the top of our left leg. Again, totally optional. Maybe you can wrap your right toes around the back of your left leg. This can put a little extra torque on the um, the knee joint, so please exercise caution, do what feels best for you today. And then try, <laughs> I'm having a hard time with my balance today, try 
to maintain your balance as you take your elbows up and away and your shoulders down. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, we release. Slowly shake things out a little bit. And I'll demonstrate this next side from seated. So wherever we are standing or seated, we start by standing up nice and tall. Deep breath in, we reach the arms out wide. And exhale, this time, we do the opposite arm on top. I believe this is the right arm on top this time. <laughs> we bring the hands either to the shoulders, maybe the forearms touch, maybe the palms wrap around. Take a moment here. If you're standing, perhaps lower yourself into chair pose, or like me, perhaps, if you're seated already. We'll continue to sit up nice and tall. And then the option here is to pick up the left knee and maybe cross it over the right. Try to maintain your balance, the engagement, lifting your elbows, dropping the shoulders. Take one more inhale. And exhale, we slowly unravel, we unwind. You can shake things out a little bit. And then very softly, we're going to make our way either to a seated position on a chair or on the floor. If you'd prefer to remain standing, of course, you're always welcome to remain standing. We'll gently take the shoulders back. And I invite you now to take any final stretches that would feel really good to you just for the next maybe 30 seconds. Notice the subtle sensations in your body, what cues you're picking up, what would feel really good right now. I'm gonna take a little twist, gently from one side to the other. And when you feel ready, we'll come to stillness. So whatever stillness looks like for you today, seated, standing, maybe even lying down, you're welcome to take a full Shavasana if you have the space to lie down on the ground. We'll gently either soften the gaze to the floor or maybe close the eyes and take a moment to check in, noticing the subtle sensations in the body as it settles into this posture. Noticing any areas of tension or tightness, any small movements we can make to get a little more comfortable. Noticing how the breath is moving in the body. If it's fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow, Noticing where you feel it the most. As you observe the breath, notice if the mind starts to wander, observing where it's running off to. And gently bringing the attention back to the breath and the body. Softening the muscles in the face, in the forehead and the eyes. Allowing just the trace of a smile onto your lips. We'll slowly with an inhale, bring the hands to center. And exhale, bow our heads forward in gratitude for this time that we've taken together today. Acknowledging any differences in how we're feeling in our body, our breath, and our mind right now compared to when we started our practice today. Slowly, we'll blink the eyes open and I'll say thank you very much for joining me today. I hope to see you next time.